prepared to accept a handover. To many, a symbol of racial oppression, isolation and civil war. The last Prime Minister of Rhodesia, Ian Smith, severed ties with colonial power Britain in 1965 and resisted black rule in a country where they outnumbered whites 20 to 1 for a further 14 years. His country was shunned by the international community and subject to United Nations sanctions as it fought a bloody conflict with black nationalists. Chumarenga is the word used to denote the terrorist war on Rhodesia. Current President Robert Mugabe was locked up by Smith's regime, labelled a terrorist and imprisoned for 10 years. In the end, it was that opposition from within the country, rather than without, that wore Smith down. Alongside Rhodesia's black leaders, he agreed to elections for majority rule, won by Robert Mugabe in 1980. Smith stayed in Parliament until 1987 when seats reserved for white people were abolished. Speaking to Al Jazeera earlier this year, he defended his own rule, saying conditions in Zimbabwe are now worse under Robert Mugabe. They were happier, they had better days under Smith than they've had subsequently and that they will go step out of their way in order to go on supporting me and agreeing with what I have said. And if that is incorrect, then I would like somebody to challenge me with facts because I don't think they can produce the facts. He remained staunchly proud of his homeland to the end. That was where I was born and brought up, so I wasn't going to allow myself to be intimidated by anybody. That was where I'd always lived and where I wanted to go on living and I want to eventually die there. That's where all my ancestors are. In the end, he didn't get his wish. Ian Smith passed away at a clinic in Cape Town, South Africa. He was 88. Jane Azapati, Al Jazeera.